Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day out, a little overcast, but good time to maybe wash the truck and the car later. There's my little house, built in 1912, and I have a small work shed here. I've got a three-car garage out beyond it, but this is a mess, I apologize. But uh, I'm going to modify the Auric a little bit today. This one here, I'm going to take a handle off of an old wand, this handle here, and I'm going to put it on the bottom of the Oryx so I can pick it up and carry it easier. And you'll notice these machines, these were back, this first one, 1992, was my first machine. Before I got into the truck mounts, it was this little box extractor, still works wonderful. And then this bigger one was uh, 1993. And I bought that, that one and modified it a little bit, put some big wheels on it because out here we got a lot of gravel driveways and those little wheels wouldn't work. So I put these monster wheels on it. Thing sits about four and a half feet high. And the old typical two vac, double stage, 100 PSI pump, sure flow. I put the wheels on the handle so I could maneuver in and lay it down in a truck back then. But, you know, you accumulate a lot of stuff. I mean, I got, geez, you name it. Any carpet cleaner knows we're just constantly getting stuff and hanging on to it. So that's the good thing about tools, you know. I went through a, a pretty big phase. I got an extra set of vacs. Got my pump-up sprayers, all kinds of hose lines, and bottles, containers. And my, my Eclipse actually got damaged at the uh, repair shop, so it's still out of service at the moment. And there's a f backpack sprayer that I was attempting to use, but I didn't like it. Extra hoses, shop vac, 100-foot cords. I got a generator, <laughs> too much. And oh, I did, this is an extra rug. These were, I think, I did a video previously. I think it was 24 bucks. And if you look for the video, um, I have two of these runners in my truck, but they're, it's like a hunter green. They roll out and they're really long, like 25 foot. So, and this one's a backup, just keep it out here. And then if the other one, uh, gets damaged I could switch it out so yeah I want to put that handle on here I actually saw it on uh, I was working on an intro video I put it right there and on the intro video the picture I took it had the handle and I'm gonna be able to just grab it and pick it up right there so there's my boat motor one of them and I got some fans I used to use, and I uh, was a licensed realtor until a couple years ago. I used to do that kind of on the side. There's my other Auric. Got to put that one back in service. Somebody said they use one with the scrub brush. Oh, this wand, it cracked on the bottom. I tried to weld it, and it just looked terrible, so I quit using it. But uh, someone said they used two Oryx, one with the brush and one with the pad, which I may end up doing. So anyway, I'm going to get it all set up and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, here we are. The handle's on there. The handle's a little bit wider, the pole on my wand, so I had to put some duct tape in there. Ducked it up real good in between, tightened it all up, and then I found this old strap out there and I thought well there goes that solves my problem with it falling backwards just fit right around perfect so you can see simple to pick up go up and down stairs easy to maneuver you can pick up these um, wand handles on eBay 
I think American Extractors is who I usually buy all my products from on eBay. There you go. Looking good. The strap works perfect. The handle, it goes all the way down to the ground so you can still lower the machine and get under the bed and all that stuff. It's not, it's nowhere in the way. I've got a two o'clock job today out on the military base. I have to look at the contract with them and see if, if I can do VLM or if I have to do steam cleaning. But if it authorizes uh, VLM, I'll do it and I'll show you how it works. Okay, thanks for joining me in another episode. If you're watching, make sure to hit subscribe.